Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how to do an iris classification program using logistic regression. For that, you need to download iris data set. Even you can do it without downloading this data set, but uh, you have to do it in your coding. Here, we are downloading this data set directly from a site called Kaggle. Here you have many data sets from that. From there, I'm going to download Iris Flower data set. Can you see this download button? If you give this, it will be downloaded. And I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook. If you want, you can create a new environment for this program. But here I'm not using any environment. Okay, here, can you see upload? Click on that and you can upload your iris.csv file here. After this, I'm going to create a new notebook. You can rename it here, the iris using logistic logistic regression i'm going to quickly import all my necessary libraries numpy also i if you don't have this uh, data set you can import it from sklearn.datasets also. This way. But we are not going to use it here. Now we are going to read our CSV file. So for that, we are using this function. And what's our file name is iris.csv okay now it is success successfully executed but we don't see any output why because we didn't give anything to get printed now can you see this is the content of iris.csv file after this we are going to, okay, uh, see in this file, you have this ID column, the flowers sepal that's in centimeter, it's a, the third column contains sepal width, then petal and petal width, and finally we have this species column, that is the final output. If you want to check all your column names, Can you see here? And after that, if you want to know how much, how many, uh, how many uh, counts are there under each category? That is like, let me show you. Under species, I'm going to count my values. Can you see, there are 50 rows containing the, this output, that is iris setosa. And for versicolor, we have 50 rows. And for virginica, we have 50 rows. And we are going to uh, analyze our data using few functions. That's a dot head of. This function is used to print only few rows from our data set. So by default, it will print five, the first five rows. If you want to print seven rows, you can give it inside this round bracket. So it will fetch us the first seven rows. Same thing. 
it is applied for tail of also. By default, last five rows will be displayed. If you want to display last 10 rows, you can give it inside this type function. That is 150th row. This is the 150th row. Why here it is 149? Because this index starts from 0. Can you see here? Since it is starting from 0, we have 149 rows. So there are totally 150 rows. Next thing, if, if, you, if you want to get a sample, three sample rows, or say five sample rows, no, five. Okay, let me give that. Can you see? 49th row, 41st row, 83rd. So it has printed random 10 rows from this data set. Even you can print a particular number of rows by specifying the column name also. So, how to do it? So under species column, I want the first two rows to get printed. Can you see? This is zeroth row. That means the first row, zeroth index. That means your first row. The iris setosa and the second one is also iris setosa. And after that, I have another function called Sorry, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the shape of my data. So it's this 150 comma 6. I'll show you here. Can you see? 150 rows into 6 columns. This is my shape for the data set. And if you want to get some info, about your data set a dot info and if you want to find out like some of the basic descriptions like about my data set like count mean std standard deviation max so this for this we can use describe all if you want to know the data types you can use D types. Can you see? ID is of integer type, sepal length is of flow type, and species is of object. And now we are going to build our model. So for that, I'm going to type some line from scalar. I'm going to import all these things from scalar. Here I'm going to use logistic regression. And under this linear model, I have this logistic regression. Let me show you. From the scale number. Linear model. I'm going to import my model. What is my model here? Logistic regression. Okay. And after that, I need one more line for my training, testing, and splitting. That comes under model selection. Okay. Now I can run the cell. So there's no error. Now I'm going to uh, I'm, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you this table. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these four columns under X and this output column species. I'm going to store it under Y. 
x equals okay circle length cm Now I have all these four columns under X and species column under Y. Now I'm going to use this train underscore test underscore split to train. Uh, actually, I'm going to uh, divide my entire data set into training data set and testing data set. For that, it's train for my test. Y train from equal yeah I'm giving what's my test size that is 30 percentage of my entire data set will be taken for testing and the remaining 70% of the entire data set will be taken for training. I can even give a 2-5. This means 25 percentage. And this value should lie between 0 and 1. And I am giving this random 2. Random 2. Let me check my extreme shape. So this is my extreme shape. Also, I can check my y train shape. Okay. Now, the next thing is I'm going to build my model. What's my model here? It is logistic regression. I have a new model and I'm going to use the variable to train my model. I'm giving X train and Y train to my machine. After training my model, I'm going to predict it. Passing x test. If I give the values of x test, it is showing me the possible outcome. Okay, the corresponding outcome it has predicted. Let me check whether it is correct with my actual y test, actual value. So for that, I'm going to print y test. If I print all the y test, the entire thing will get displayed. I don't want that. I'm going to print Taylor, then take the last 10 and check whether it is matching with this. So last one is here it is Iris Setosa. Okay, here, here also it is Iris Setosa. And before that it's Rosicola, Rosicola. Then the above one is Setosa, correct. Rosicola is also correct. One, two, three, four, five. So five versus colors. The sixth one is Roginica. So one, two, three, four, five. All five versus colors are correct. 
the above one is virginica that's also correct and the top one is virginica that is also correct if you want to print a tail of 20 it will show you another 10 from here okay so all these 10 outputs are correct let me check the score also dot this is how I'm, I'll check my score. I'm passing my X test and Y test. My score is 1.0. That is 100%. In normal case, it, it doesn't happen. It shouldn't happen also. What if I give some random values? That also I can do. Let me give random measurements for I'll show you here. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give my own values to sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. It has to show me the correct species. Okay. Let me give some random values like 3.6 and uh, 6.3. If I give these measurements, I have to uh, I have to get the correct output from my machine. Okay, it is it has uh, classified the flower with these measurements as virginica. That's all for the day. Thank you.